in part one of these uh, videos on the universal cloud rest api protocol That's we explain the rationale and the advantage of having the flexibility of creating your own protocol for all the plethora of uh, api logs that are coming up and evolving and changing all the time in this video what we're going to be doing is using this uh, i will call this one half bake this dual security and we're going to create a full protocol for it right so the link to this uh, url is in the video description as well as the link to the official universal protocol dsm i use falsilla to move it into store temp and, and, and i this is not the actual name this is a pre-release version you'll see the official name from ibm and once you have it in there what you need to do is actually install it by doing jump dash y install and then put that name and I, I already did that and therefore in my system it says uh, nothing to do what you need to do is deploy full configuration in curator this step is very important because even though you're not going to see that uh, yellow banner that tells you that you need to deploy configuration you definitely need to and it has to be full deploy configuration because a new protocol is added otherwise you're going to get uh, some strange error during the process so I'm going to click here continue and I'm going to post the video until this part completes so full deployment is completed so we go to the log source management app we're going to add a new log source we click here it's a single log source we're going to use the pattern of the universal DSM now on the protocol type this is the new part we're going to also select the universal cloud rest api right and we click here to configure the parameters we're going to call this one dual security we can put a description if you want to now comes the important part and nothing nothing else here to specify which is the configuration parameters and now you need to provide well of course the log source identifier let me put the same dual security you need to specify the values of the workflow and the workflow parameter values so the values from the workflow you get them let me go to the website let me pause the video until i get there so this is the link again in the video description you'll find it you go here under duo and when you click here on the workflow you're going to grab the content of all this thing and you're going to paste it right there right so just like that now for the workflow parameter values you need to put here several things let's actually go back to the site if you go here and the documentation explain you how you create your account on duo security and you need to get, get three parameters the host the integration key and the secret key i follow the documentation and i got those parameters I open a text editor and I'm covering this because I don't want to reveal all that data and you get following the documentation and the dual site security you get those three values you put them in there you grab this and you're going to paste it in here now, if you click in here you can reveal the the details of it uh, which uh, I'm not going to do right now before I proceed, let me actually go back to that uh, workflow definition to explain a few things about it. So this is the workflow for dual security. As you see, it retrieves from those parameters from that other component. And here are the steps, you know, that it performs to initialize, to get the authentication 
uh, into the dual security handle the any any error post the uh, event so and here are the test conditions uh, that those that good test condition button that we have uh, in the in the in the protocol test here you specify the action as you see you as the vendor puts more capabilities and more things in here you may need to go back into uh, into the workflow and if IBM or anybody in the community provides in, in a better one you can actually take that one or you can read the documentation and create from scratch the one from the API of your choice and we are basically done we can specify the recurrence by the way uh, when I was playing with this before if I put one minute then you get an error from Duo that said that the request has been coming too often so uh, I, I'm leaving this up uh, for the uh, 10 minutes and here's the part where you can uh, initiate the test if you want to to see that you are connecting to it so I click on test and I get the, the test the three test conditions specifying the workflow has been completed and now every 10 minutes I will be receiving the dual security logs coming from the API by the way you will get this message indicating that uh, you need to deploy changes because a new DSM has been added, a new log source not DSM New log source I've been added, which is the log, uh, the dual security that we did. So I'm gonna go ahead and deploy the changes. And to conclude, if we put a filter where the log source is dual security, we get those events. Of course, they are unknown because now that the protocol is working, the messages, the logs are put into Curita, but now we need to do go into the DSM editor and create a parser to extract the, the, the actual properties to do the mapping etc etc okay